All right, starting this new vlog off, wearing the same shirt I was wearing in my last video because it's only been a day. Anyway, uh, starting the new vlog off with, I just got my first package of the week. I'm gonna be getting quite a few, so this is my first one, and I'm about to show you guys what's inside. Here we go, guys, moment of truth. Open this up. Through all this. Bang, baby. Hell yeah. So basically how I got this was, uh, and I I don't remember if I said it, but the, on the Walgreens website, they had these for their uh, discounted price right now, which they're selling Marvel Legends for $13. This was on their Walgreens, Walgreens website for 13 bucks. Obviously, it went sold out pretty quickly, but I was able to grab one. I should have grabbed a couple. I mean, for that price, I should have grabbed a couple, but I was able to grab one of these mystiques, so I'm super hype about it. I definitely should have grabbed a couple. I could have put one up on the wall, you know? Because I feel like this figure is going to be rare as shit. So, you know, I should have grabbed a couple, but I didn't. Oh, well, though, I got one. So, first package of the week is lit. I just want to look at this in the, like, look at this in the packaging. Like, before I even open this, just look at this figure, man. I don't really care much for the alternate heads. Not because they're not cool. Like, that figure I don't really care much for because they haven't even come out with that figure itself. But the rogue head, I don't really, I really, really like it. It's super, super cool. I just don't have another rogue to put it on, and I just feel like putting it on Mystique. I mean, it would be cool for some photos, but for my, like, collection and just having it up, it's not that cool. But, yeah. Let me know if you guys want a review of this or something <clears throat> down the line. I think it's a really, really cool figure, man. I, I dig it. I'm going to keep the packaging, so if you guys want a review of it, I can... You know, show you guys off. Look at this artwork. Like the artwork is getting so much better for these Marvel Legends. Like, look at that. That's sick artwork. Just having a new classic mystique that isn't trash. Like the old Toy Biz one was so bad. This new one looks so good. So super pumped. And this came really fast. I ordered this not that long ago. I think I ordered it last <clears throat> today's Monday, and I think I ordered it last Friday, to be honest. It might have been Thursday, but he came pretty fast, which is pretty awesome. And I've got a few more packages that should be coming throughout the week. So I'm pretty hyped. This is awesome. Guys, this figure is so tight, dude. This thing, this is sick. Honestly, this is one of the, like, this is the best Mystique we've gotten in the 6-inch form. But, like, this is a sick figure, man. Look at that. Look at that head sculpt, man. This looks so tight. I'm going to be trying right now uh, real quick to run to the post office, see if I can pick up a package that's going to be delivered to me tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a minute. <sighs> all right, here are all the new packages. Let's open them up and see what's inside. Am I right? <laughs> Contents of this first one here. I know what they are, but, you know, I'm gonna pull it out here. Bam. Another multiple man. This is my third one. Still looking for a few more. I think he comes with... Hey, yeah, he comes with all his heads, too, which is cool. Which is cool, so, yeah. Another multiple man, which is dope. See, in this box, we got, bam, more sculpts, because I ran out. <laughs> um, damn, this kind of looks like the gray. It's supposed to be white. Well, I guess it looks white. I don't know. Do not separate. Nice. Yeah, I'm unboxing this on the floor. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> and I'm using a steak knife. Also, don't care. Uh, shut up. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Here's our Pekka J. Love the, the Big Bad Toy Store wrap, bubble wrap thing. All right, so I picked up this guy. I've passed up on him a million times, but he was literally 10 bucks, so that's why I picked him up. Guys, I had an extra 10 bucks to spend, so I picked him up. But really, what's in here? Moped Deadpool. Looking pretty sick. He kind of looks bigger than usual. Maybe it's just me. You got the big dog. Like, this stuff looks great, dude. Wow. Wow. Uh, seeing this in person, this looks amazing, dude. More for the Deadpool core, you know? And you got Agent Bob. <laughs> Bob, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's pretty funny. All right. And then the more important one. Boom. Professor X in his hover chair. Oh man, I am so stoked to open this. Oh my God. This is a 
Amazing, dude. Literally amazing. I'm not a big fan of that art, though. I'm not 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 huge on that artwork, man. Couldn't use a Jim Lee photo. Anyway, really, really stinking cool. So that was my little unboxing for this portion of the video. Portion. By the way, guys, sorry for the mess. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this guy. Uh, I literally only got him because he was cheap, and he's another comic book armor to add to my armory. That was literally the only reason I got him. Just another comic book Iron Man armor. So, yeah, I don't like the, the body mold, like, with the legs and all these shoulders that they come up for you to move his arms. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this mold or anything, but it's a cool enough looking armor. So, yeah. So we're going to crack this thing open. Oh, man. Look at this thing. It looks so cool. And the artwork on the back. And you got Squirrel Pool and Marvel's Dog Pool. <laughs> oh, man, dude. This looks sick reissue of some other deadpools we had which is kind of cool i guess uh this face sculpt i'm not sure how i'm feeling about that i don't really know <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird but i think i like the figure though i like it i like the new attachments the knife and the boot i like the boots and so itself um i wish they would use the sunspot body though because that one looks that one works so much better but yeah i like it it's pretty cool A little squirrel pool Oh, yeah, I need to focus. Squirrel pool this is pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool, man. Pretty cool. Well, it's a moped, actually. It's pretty neat. Um, what I don't like, though, is that this is only sculpted to fit on the bike, so you can't really do anything with it besides put on the bike. I mean, you could sit it. You might be able to sit it like that, but that... I don't know. That looks kind of weird. I mean, not saying I wouldn't want it on the bike, but yeah, but it is really detailed. It looks pretty dang good. I like the sculpt for it. It looks pretty cool. The helmet. And it actually has some articulation, which is crazy. I thought it'd be just one sculpted piece. So um, that's pretty cool. Look at those little paws. Look at those little paws. Since I gave a view of the back of this uh, with the last one, I figured I'd do it again. This is looking pretty sick. Oh my God. This looks so amazing. Oh my God. My God. Look at this. This is so freaking awesome. I love this. Here's what I decided to do with the X-Men now that I um, now that I have Professor X. Sorry, I'm blanking. <laughs> and Mystique. So I added a bunch here and threw my multiple men back in here. I threw Sauron in there as well because he's an X-Men villain. These aren't like 90s X-Men villains. As you can see, I have Deadpool and Cable in there as well. But these are just X-Men villains, I guess. And then my 90s X-Men, which this is an actual 90s X-Men team for the most part. So, but yeah, the that whole thing. But I love that Professor X. And yes, I've got him and Magneto in the front there. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. I dig it. So yeah. All right, with that, I had to change around a couple things. Uh, I had to move some stuff over here, so I moved a different Avengers display over here with different Avengers villains. Pow! I'm punching him. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, other than all this, what I just did here, uh, today I am... Uh, forget about that. <laughs> I'm going to get a new monitor. Uh, I have a way to get a new one, so I'm going to be getting a new one. of The exact same one, just I'm just going to be getting a new one. And I'm also going to get a poster to put behind them, because that wall looks a little weird. And I want to get like a poster, a horizontal poster to put behind them. And I don't know of what yet, but hopefully it'll look really cool. Sorry, I'm getting babies on my Right. Makes me laugh. How is this a lower price? What is the lower price? Eighteen ninety nine. That's the lower price. Hilarious, dude. That's hilarious. I. Did the, these must depend. I saw a head sculpt that looked exactly like Scarlett Johansson. That one does not. What's up, guys? So, uh, me and a bunch of friends are probably going to, or not probably, are going to see Captain Marvel tonight. So, I can give you guys a little bit of, like, um, not a review of the movie, but, like, my thoughts on the movie afterwards. If you guys want to do that, I'll probably just kind of give my thoughts on the movie in this sort of vlog thing. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not sure how much of it I'll film with us. We're going to Wing Night, which is, like, a, 
a thing at a, a hotel around here that does unlimited wings for like a certain price. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go to that, and then we're gonna go to the movies. So I, I I'll like, I don't know. I'll film maybe, but I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll get some shots, I guess, but I'm not gonna do too much in that department. I won't be talking really. So, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So I'll see you guys then. Yo, what's up guys? I want to say real quick before I head off to work that I really enjoyed Captain Marvel. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it, it had its problems up and down, but in terms of a Marvel movie, if you are interested... It, uh, I got a cut there. I don't know why that happened. But if you're interested in Marvel movies, you should go check it out. It is a lot of fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And just for certain parts and certain nods in the movie uh, that go along with the rest of Marvel, I think you should go see it because those... Uh, Little parts are awesome, and you will enjoy it because of that. But I just wanted to say that because it's freaking cool, man. I love it. I love it. I, and I, I have a great time with MCU. Just because I don't collect MCU Marvel Legends it doesn't mean I don't like the movies. It's just because I don't like the movie figures that much. I just, I, I just don't like the movie figures that much. But I actually do really love the movies. Huge supporter, of course. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. I had a ton of fun. What's up guys i'm in the vlog oh my hair i'm in the vlog here today um and i'm gonna upload it i i don't know what day i'm gonna upload it but uh thanks i just actually uh my 3d man custom is sold now i actually put it up and within an hour is someone bought it so cool uh i've been putting my customs up at a decent price lately uh the price is probably gonna go up the more like work i put into them um it's probably gonna go up a little bit but for now some of the simpler ones that I'm doing, 45 bucks, uh, I felt like was a pretty good price. So anyway, uh, I want to end the video here and I thank everybody who tuned into this video. If you guys like this style of content, keep leaving a like and commenting and I'll keep doing it. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.